Hi there, I am Glacy from Brazil. Welcome to my teaching world. Today my teaching tips are on this book, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Hi Jasmine. Hello. How are you? How are you? Are you good? Like yeah, so what book is this? It's Brown Bear, right? Yeah. Brown Bear, okay, open the book. I have noticed that many teachers do not know how to use the full book. What do I mean? I mean that besides telling the whole story, take advantage of everything you have in the book. For example, as you open the book, you're going to notice that all animals that are in this story are going to be here. You can play that game called I Spy. You can say, I spy a brown bear. And the kid has to go and just point at the bear. I spy two yellow ducks. And they have to go, one, two, two yellow ducks. Where's brown bear? Brown bear. Where? Where is brown bear? Do you see brown bear? Yes. Where is the red bird? Ah, ah, where is the blue horse? If you Google or if you go to YouTube and type in Brown Bear, what do you see? You're going to see many videos about this book. There are songs. There's one that um, sounds like this. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. If you don't feel comfortable singing, you can chant. Do you know what a chant is? A chant is simply vocabulary spoken over a background of music or a rhythm. For example, brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bear looking at me. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a... What? What? What do you see? What is that? Bird. It's a bird. I see a red bird looking at me. Are you ready? The use of chants use repetition to engage the right side of brain's musical intelligence. Through the use of repetition and having fun together, students will just improve their automatic use of language. So teacher, when you improve your ability to tell a story, sing the story and change the story, you will have the opportunity to use this book more times. And if for every time you tell it or use the book, you propose a different activity, it's going to sound like a whole new book for them every time. They're not going to get bored. And by repeating the same words every day or every time, they will memorize the words and they will um, improve their vocabulary. Before telling this story, you know, make a prediction with them. What is the book about? And have them think. Do not give them the answer. Blue horse. Blue horse. What do you see? What do you see, blue horse? What? <gasps> what? What comes next? I see. A... What's that? Another very important thing. Elicit from them instead of just giving them the answer. So, this is a brown bear. No, you would go like, what is this? What says quack quack? Yellow duck. Yellow duck, yeah. If they do not know, instead of saying, it's a bear, you just give them options. Is it a bear or a dog? When you do this, they usually get it's a bear. Maybe they don't know um, the name is bear, but they know it's not a dog. What's that? Is it a cat or a fish? Cat. It's a cat? No. Does this say meow? Mm -mm. What is this? A cat or a fish? Fit. Fish. I see a goldfish. Give them time to think. If they go like, just give them time. Be patient. Is it a dog or a duck? About pronunciation, always model. Like in Portuguese, fish sounds like peixe. And it's very common to students um, to look at the fish and say peixe. So, you know, just say, okay, look at me. Have them look at your mouth and say fish. And have them repeat after you, fish. No, 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 look at me. Fish. Fish. Yes. Frog. A frog. Say green frog. Me? I see a green frog looking at me. If they can read, 
you can have them just you know uh, match the name of the animal to the animal it can be you know using a pencil just with the finger if they can't read just have them point at the animal and say what it is you know just have them point and say you can ask them questions what animal is this uh, what color is it how big is it <laughs> wow Mom, sheep cat uh, yeah, what that? Good Look at all those colors. What color is this? Uh, uh, yellow. Green. Nope. Yellow. Black. Yeah. Blue. I see what? Who are these people? <laughs> huh? Friends. Friends, boys, and. Yep. Girl. Girls, are you a girl or boy, Jasmine? Jasmine, are you a girl or a boy? Yeah. You can also ask them which animals live in the water, on the land, on the air. And of course, praise them every time um, they get the right answer. You say, very good, good job, great. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, subscribe to my channel and let us grow together teacher as I always say in all my videos be amazing and you will have wonderful results the end. The end. brown bear brown bear what do you see I see Miss Glacy teaching me bye bye